Federal lawmakers, leaders of registered political parties and stakeholders converge for a three-day interactive session as part of the implementation of a robust consultative work plan towards improving election technology and legislation in the nation's electoral process. I therefore crave your indulgence to use this very rare opportunity to share with the Joint Committee those areas that you refer to as being contentious and in need of review. It will interest you to know that this is the first in a series of consultations. I think it's important that as we walk towards the next elections, <clears throat> we avoid, first of all, that we take advantage of the very important amendments that were made in 2022 in the Electoral Act. Because if we do not improve on implementation of the Electoral Act for the next elections, our country's democracy could be severely challenged. In a no-holds-barred interactive session, political parties under the aegis of the Inter-Party Advisory Council make several proposals to the electoral process, including linking the continuous voter registration to the national identification number. The current staggered system of election is not cost-effective. A single-day election will reduce cost, minimize disruption to economic and academic activities, maintain voters' enthusiasm. To ensure the independence of the electoral compact, the appointment of any chairman, national commissioners, and the resident electoral commission should not be the responsibility of the executive. Rather, interested candidates for these offices should publicly express interest. Some of the parties also have their take on the proposed amendment. On the issue of uh, setting up an uh, independent appointment committee for the purpose of appointment of INEC chairman and other functionaries of INEC. I think that is also, we have reservations and objections in that regard. The issue of party cross captain is also whipped up. He said you cannot win an election on a platform of a party and you carry the victory to another political party. You know go work. I'm quoting a governor. We must make it very clear in the act that once that happens in the Senate, in the House of Rep, State Assembly, right now it is not affecting the governors. But I think we should extend it to them. Stakeholders here believe that the three-day interactive session will address the electoral gaps, tackle the deficiencies and strengthen the nation's democratic institutions. Gloria Umezuke. Channels Television News.